all right guys so this is what we're working with this is how the bookshelves look at the moment as you can see here are all the books that i just hauled from london and yelk so it is a mess um and all the books go all the way over here i have a mess of things here that i'm selling i have here a packed book card and another one it's all a mess and i need to fix it so we are going to dive into the shelves and try to figure out how to organize this best. It's coffee time. Hey, hello. So I just finished recording a video for my other channel and this is also something that I got in London, my Vecna t-shirt, because we love him, we hate him as well, but we love him as well. So I was thinking today um, I might start the reorganization of my shelves which is gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot so I don't know how long it's gonna take me and I need to make sure to at least have a background <laughs> for future videos so I'm gonna start slowly organizing things changing things around and let you guys know um, what I'm doing so I have kind of a situation <laughs> which is I want to keep the horror together um, so I feel like I am going to organize first everything that is not horror and see if there are things there that I can still unhaul and then organize that at the very end of my shelves uh, and then prioritize the horror on my background and on the first shelves because you know I want to give horror the biggest space and also the space that it needs to grow to order more books um yeah so i think that's what we're gonna do first i'm going to get off my shelves everything that it's not horror um i still have it in categories like fantasy sci-fi rom-coms contemporary like things like that so i'm just gonna put it in piles and decide which things i'm gonna keep and which things i'm going to unhaul because I need to make space for new things and I know there's books there that I probably am never gonna reread um, if I already read them so I feel like I need to be fair and get rid of those things and you know give them to someone else that's gonna love them um, and it's gonna find a place for those things so yeah let's do that first I feel like first of all since I have still so many graphic novels and comic books over here in this area I'm gonna remove them from here and I'm gonna put them somewhere else that's gonna be dedicated only for um, comic books and for graphic novels so that I leave space on all of the shelves just for books. And I also need to organize these uh, book cards that I have because they're currently looking like a hot mess. Uh, so yeah, a lot to do. I'm already dying with the heat today so yeah <laughs> I'm already a sweating mess but anyways I managed to get all the graphic novels slash uh, comics out of here I still need to reorganize them properly I just put them temporarily in other shelves um, so that I can focus on just organizing like I said books on these bookshelves and not mix them with the graphic novels except Heartstopper because I do plan on making like a little shelf just dedicated to heart stopper because that's where my heart is at right now <laughs> um yeah maybe in the future i will put like a dedicated space somewhere else but right now i have to find a place somewhere here so yeah i'll combine basically all of alice osman's books together um and make kind of like a section for themselves so i think i've decided what i'm gonna put here at the bottom i just wiped the shelves because everything was so dusty i just got a sneezing attack because i am allergic to dust which is not convenient <laughs> uh, so I just kept sneezing like 20 times in a row so I need to also wipe down all of the shelves while I'm on it I think I'm also gonna do it with my movie collection since I am reorganizing this office in general uh, office I mean I call it office it's just my recording room um, so yeah I think I'm gonna put here at the bottom Things that are like non-fiction or, you know, historical fiction. Things that I don't have so much of and I don't expect my collection to grow really fast when it comes to that. Because 
most of the other sections my collection grows quicker so i think it's gonna be smart maybe <laughs> to put here the things that i don't feel like the physical tbr is gonna grow a lot um quickly so then they can always stay here at the very bottom so that's what i'm gonna do but before i do it because like i said um, it's really hot today. It's a really hot day here and um, I just finished recording a video and everything I feel like what I'm gonna do to get myself comfortable is I'm gonna have a shower remove the makeup and You know get ready for um, The organization so I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna have a bite um, And then I'll be back with you guys reorganizing my shelves This is what my baby does while mommy works on the computer. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, but why so cute? Good morning guys, so today I thought I would use my morning, it is a Sunday, so I thought I would use my morning to work a little bit on this room because there is still so much to do. Um, so I did make a little bit smidgen of progress, so I may managed to put all my non-fiction, historical fiction, um, and then some adult and YA sci-fi is already all in place, and then I have my George R. R. Martin here little space. Um, I do want to keep getting his books on hardcover and expand my George R. R. Martin collection because I really really like the way that he writes and the way he writes characters and stuff so um, definitely is one of my fantasy favorites. I don't read much fantasy but when it comes to adult fantasy uh, George R. R. Martin is for me my go-to. <laughs> then I have here some adult romance and I only have like six or seven books I don't know not much um, and then I have here some YA contemporaries they are all coming here and now I am working on a queer romance YA section because I do have a lot of those and I want to give them their own space and also I want to build somewhere my heartstopper appreciation shelf moment <laughs> um, or also hashtag obsessed so until now to be fair I have not made as much progress as I wanted or I hoped but Today I'm going to focus on getting as much done as possible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my headset on and I'm going to listen to some YouTube videos or some music do you know to get some motivation there and we're going to work and see how far we get um, but it feels good to be reorganizing my shelves I feel like everybody that has bookshelves with a lot of books or movies at some point it feels nice every like maybe half a year or so to reorganize everything it's just I feel necessary <laughs> so yeah I'm really happy that I took the time now to do it to a bigger mug because it was needed and I am reconsidering my whole existence at the moment <laughs> yay no but honestly I am making decisions on splitting up I had all my Alice in Wonderland related books together and I'm splitting them up so I'm gonna put the ones that are non-fiction or that are versions of the original Alice together and I'm separating the other ones and putting them into the horror section because they are kind of Alice in Wonderland horror retellings or fantasy retellings so I'm splitting them up uh, yeah I don't know where I'm gonna end with this <laughs> I just feel like I'm never gonna be satisfied which I think it's normal. I think everybody that reorganizes rooms, reorganizes collections specifically, is never 100% satisfied. Is it just me? <laughs> Let me know down below. Hello and welcome to my next book crisis. So I have reached a point <laughs> in which I 
have realized that in order to fit all of my YA fantasy books in here, I need to start reorganizing the horror section so that I can fit all the fantasy ones in like one shelf. I think that would make more sense. So now I need to, apart from keep working on this second shelf, this one is done, thank God. Uh, so for me to keep working on this one, I have to move to the other side and start getting things off the shelf. So wish me luck. All right, people, we have made some progress. Um, I am shooketh <laughs> that I actually made progress today. Um, it looks pretty good. I think I might be even able to finish everything today, which would be amazeball so that I can focus on actually reading books. So basically, I managed to keep all the fantasy stars here, kind of, you know, the fantasy YA section all over here the decoration things i might switch them around i'm just putting them wherever i can at the moment um so all of these is what a um you know a fantasy stuff like that and then i have here on the top a little bit of middle grade fantasy and i have here some true crime books so that's where we are at at the moment and here is everything a mess but i have decided to put my stephen king hardcovers like all over here like this and I finally unboxed this little Pennywise which is really cute and I put it next to the first edition of it in the hardcover UK edition which I absolutely love and I got in London for not cheap <laughs> but I'm super happy because I love that cover so much but obviously I have so much to sort out everywhere else as you can see so I'm gonna keep going, keep sorting, keep cleaning all the dust, and we will catch up later. Hi guys, and welcome to one of the hottest days in the Netherlands this year. So, I am ready to film a couple of videos. They are movie review videos from my other channel, Horror Movie Reviews. And I thought because I did finish organizing my shelves, I would show them to you. I still haven't put all the decorations in place, so they're basically very bare at the moment. So I'm not gonna do like a proper bookshelf tour until everything is really in place, but I have organized the categories, I have organized the books. Um, it's not perfect because when you have limited space and also not all books are the same size and shape, so it is harder to keep certain collections together. So I just tried my best um, and see what worked for me. I still need to decide what I'm gonna do with my TBR cards and organize them. So I don't have them organized yet, but I thought I would finish this uh, organization vlog. Just showing you, you know, the end product when it comes to organizing just the books and then I'll figure out the decoration later. All right, so let me show you the shelves. And like I said, the organization is a little bit all over the place so that I can make things fit. So let's start with my Stephen King collection of hardcovers that goes from here all the way over here. And it ends with Pennywise. And I decided to continue down here with the paperbacks um, from Stephen King. And I have here my Joe Hill collection. Then in this little middle shelf, I have like novellas and like indie author publishings, things like that. And now let's start with the regular horror books. So in this shelf, we have the middle grade spooky horror books um, that are guarded here by Bob, my favorite minion. Going down, we have more middle grade horror, Sammy Boy. And we have here already merging YA horror books and the YA horror books keep going until here and they move on over here as well so I have more space here to grow the collection and then here I decided to put some of the older series you know like uh, the um, Shiver series, the Goosebumps, the Darn Show series and we have here some of my point horror books and then we start kind of with the regular horror which is here I have short horror story collections 
And then I start here my regular, you know, paper bag, heart bags are horror. And we go all the way down to here. All the way down. So then I have here in these little middle shelf uh, the Christopher Pike's books and the Erlstein Fear Street books that I own, which you know I hope to get more in the future. Then I have here some random paranormal books because you know it's the way that I could fit them best because of their size. And I have here more paranormal books. And here we have basically the continuation of regular horror that goes all the way down here and here. So depending on the size, you know, I had to put things in between collections, but that is what it is. And I decided here to put the more kind of vintage horror paperbacks just because again because of the size of the shelves the reason why I put them here is because of this space here with the shelves I'm trying to utilize as many shelves as I can and I have here my Richard Lehman book collection which hopefully it will grow and here I have my small collection of YA thrillers these are full-on thrillers so I've separated them from the horror for now um, and I have here more space to grow as you can see then I have here the adult thrillers which you know I've been unholding a couple but I also kept a lot so these are all the ones that I have decided to keep for now and at the bottom because I'm not gonna read them so often or go through them so often I have all of my Star Trek and Star Wars paperbacks now moving to the next shelf, I have here at the top some true crime and non-fiction books. And then we start already with the middle grade fantasy and we merge into the YA fantasy. And I do have still a lot of them. Here it goes on. And some of these I need to try to read and see if I enjoy them or not. But I do like Marissa Meyer's series, so I got that one in hardcover. Uh, yeah, more YA kind of fantasy books go on here. And all the way over here, we have most of my B Shop books. As you can see, I buy a lot more based on author. <laughs> I have here some of my Harry Potter books. And I decided to put here my vampire books. So everything that is about vampires and Dracula and things like that. They are all here. And at the bottom I put my Alice in Wonderland collection and here are some random books about movies, you know, there are some memoirs here, stuff like that. And the very last shelf, I have taken all the space here <laughs> to create my Heartstopper kind of shelf, which you see there is a lot of room here to improve. I'm waiting on Funko Pops, just saying. And um, yeah, I'll just put more books by Alice Osman as well. And I don't know, maybe I'll buy more decoration stuff. We'll see. And then I have here my queer romance books, which there's also a lot of room here to grow. Um, and down here, um, I have contemporary YA books. Um, so these are most of them I've already read and others I still need to try and see if I like them. And we go down here where I have basically Matt Haig and uh, Frederick Backman <laughs> uh, and some um, adult romance books which you know I don't have that many then over here I have some adult fantasy books and I have here the Harry Potter illustrated editions because I couldn't fit them anywhere else <laughs> I have my George R. R. Martin collection of Game of Thrones um, and we have a little bit of sci-fi already coming here that's what I put Sheldon but that's temporary I don't think he's gonna stay there um, and here are more YA, sci-fi, sci-fi books. Um, and then it's where the non, uh, like the historical fiction and things like that start. And books are a little bit more hard to categorize. So I've just decided to put them all here. And at the end, I have a couple of Spanish classics that I own. And a couple of like memoirs and things like that. All right, you guys. So this is how my shelves look like at the moment. I hope that you enjoyed it to see the process and see how I decided to organize things. Um, so I know that it's not perfect because obviously I'm trying to use as many of these shelves as I can 
per block and so sometimes I have to split collections up or things like that in order for the things to fit. Uh, I'm just trying to optimize the space. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. I think when I decide on which lights I want on the shelves and I put all the decoration things, I might do a more in-depth kind of shelf bookshelf collection kind of edition you know so that you can see exactly what i have a little bit more in detail um but that is it for now you guys i hope you enjoyed the process and maybe it inspires you to unwholesome books and reorganize your books because it does feel good and nice when you've like cleaned all the shelves and reorganized everything and it just looks nice as always you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in our next coffee time bye <laughs>